Finkelhoff and this is Santa. Welcome to tonight's edition of Galaxy News. This morning, Galaxy Correctional Officers were on the lookout for the notorious space criminal Bob, who has yet again caused chaos in the Southern Cross area. Let's cross over live to the scene where he last struck. As you can see from the disturbing images behind me, a small planet by the name of Acamus has been destroyed. We know that the space criminal Bob is responsible because of him leaving behind a signature message, t floating toilet paper. <laughs> Galaxy Correctional Officers believe that he has a lead of roughly 3 million light, light years, so catching him is virtually impossible. Back to the studio. Not such a promising outcome. In other news, Galaxy Chocolates have revealed their new strain of flavours has surprising outcomes. When a child eats the chocolate, they are immune to any alien diseases released into the atmosphere. However, if the chocolate is eaten by adults, they internally combust. This is causing some controversy, and Galaxy Chocolates are still aiming to get the formula right. Warning to all Galaxy dwellers out there, if you see this pair of wizards, it is advisable that you back away as they have magic wishing stones that have the power to destroy any planet's moon. It is very, it is very dangerous in the hands of the wrong people. They can also be confused as regular wishing stones, like regular wishing stones are like, I wish I was on planet Earth. Haha. <laughs> Who would want to live on planet Earth anyway? Back over to Charlie at the sports desk. We are only days away from the Galaxy Championships for Planet Ball. The finalists are Pluto and Jupiter. Here I am earlier with the two team captains. Okay Pluto, can you please explain the rules to any of the Galaxy residents who may not know them? Yeah. So you gotta get a small planet like this one and balance it on your nose for as long as you can. Ah. Okay, and Jupiter, tell us about your training and any injuries your team might have had. Ah, um, we have our two boys out with a cold. Runny noses just don't have a place in our team. Other than that, we've all been blowing our noses hard in preparation for the finals. Watch out, Pluto. It looks like the teams are pretty pumped. Okay, that is the biggest and only sports news today. Back to the studio. Well, it's almost time to go, but first the weather. Okay, Galaxy Dwellers, the forecast for the coming week, pretty much the same as any other week. You need high-grade sunblock and polarised sunglasses if you're going anywhere near the sun. Temperatures on Mars continue to soar, eradicating any possibility of life forms. Please don't go anywhere near Pluto or Neptune as they are freezing. The, looks like the perfect place at the moment is Earth with something for everyone. The snow dolls can visit the North and South Poles and those of you who enjoy sweating it out, I suggest visiting, hanging around the equator for those tropical weather patterns only Earth knows how to produce. And that's it. Thank you for those predictable weather conditions once again. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow at the, sa at the same news desk. Good night. Get in there, get in there. Take one. <laughs>